how to get to and around Santa Fe is the subject matter. That's why Keith Toller is here, Executive Director from the official Tourism Bureau. Thank you, sir. Thanks again for having me. Thank you for uh, putting on your transportation hat, your railroad hat. Help us out. Are people flying directly into Santa Fe? Where are they flying to? Uh, you can fly directly into Santa Fe on American Airlines. Okay. Um, American Eagle services nonstop from Dallas and from L.A. Um, so you can get flights directly into Santa Fe. The, still the majority of people are flying into Albuquerque. Um, and you can it's an hour away. And there's shuttles that run you up. There's also the new San, uh, New Mexico Rail Runner Express, okay. which connects Albuquerque and Santa Fe. It's a train train line that runs uh, between the two cities, and it's a great way to get to, to Santa Fe. The uh, What's the average visitation? Uh, people stay four nights, five nights. What is it? Do you not have that figure? I would say the average uh, visitation is between three and four nights. Perfect. And do you need to rent a car while you're there, or what? The surrounding countryside in northern New Mexico is absolutely spectacular. And so you may want to run out to Bandelier National Park, or you want to run up to Taos. And so there's a lot of opportunities for day tripping. Mm -hmm. And so if you, if you take the shuttle from Albuquerque or the shuttle from the Santa Fe airport, you can rent a car in Santa Fe for the day and go and do a day trip somewhere. Because there's no point in renting a car and then just parking it at the hotel. You definitely don't need it because Santa Fe is such a walkable city. You walk everywhere in Santa Fe. And it's pretty. Everywhere you go. That's what you see. I've seen picture after picture. It's hard to take a bad picture in Santa Fe. It is hard to take a bad picture. We're surrounded by mountains. We have the Sangre de Cristo Mountains to the east. We have Sandias to the south, the Jemez to the west. And so everywhere you look, you're going to see mountains. And then you walk up these historic roads like Canyon Road, which is where our arts district is. Mm -hmm. And you walk, you take that walk up Canyon Road and you see these old adobes and ristras hanging from the doors. And yeah, then there's contemporary art that's, uh, that is, uh, you know, in the, in, the, on the, in the courtyards. It's amazing what you can see. And now you know everything you need to know about getting to and around Santa Fe. It's very simple, right? Very simple. Simple. Good. We'll be right back after this.